Hey everybody, welcome to my Operation Christmas Child video. This video has been a year in the making and I'm super excited to finally be filming it. In the new year of 2017, I decided and announced that I wanted to use 50% of my Patreon earnings to pack these boxes for Operation Christmas Child. And if you haven't heard of Operation Christmas Child, what they do is they send out gifts to kids who are in third world countries and developing countries. Um, and a few years ago, I got the chance to go to Costa Rica and actually deliver these to some kids and I got to um, pack my own box and hand deliver it to a little girl named uh, Stacy and <laughs> she was the cutest little thing. And it was such an amazing experience that I've been doing it ever since. So I want to say a huge thank you to my 25 Patreon supporters who stuck with me throughout the year. Um, and they are the ones who made these boxes possible. So huge thank you to them. I'm gonna put their names right here somewhere. So over the course of this year, through Patreon, I was able to raise $400 to go straight to these boxes. And so I went on a huge shopping spree last week. Rachel, what are we doing? We're going to the bank! Here's all the stuff we have to buy today. And we have a lot of money to spend. This is my driver. Hello. Also camera boy. So the first one we're going to is Dollarama. Dollarama! You wanna get a basket? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's get a basket. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. <laughs> Quick maths. So I'll get a bunch of these. Which colors should I get? Okay, I'm gonna get these little notebooks. It would be nice to get them like different things, you know? So these might be really. Wow, look at this one. Let's do these. <laughs> Want to help me find a sketchbook? No. We found the cutest little notebooks or sketchbooks and they have like this like nice flat binding, you know? Oh, these would be fun. Oh, these ones are teddy bears. Those are so cute. Oh, dude. Boys would love this. I need that. These are stickers that are kittens. Look at all those cars. I'm buying these. Yes. <laughs> something like this would be cool. Okay, and then I'll get some of these. And some of these. I think these are good for the older girls. These are kind of fun for like the younger girls. We found them. Gotta buy some washcloths. <laughs> How much do you think this is gonna be? At least 90, I think. Honestly, I'm gonna think, like just judging from the volume, it's probably gonna be around 75. I think you're wrong. I'm right. I win. So let's go to McDonald's and then let's go to Walmart. I don't know where I am. Okay, so we're good. We got socks for boys. I should have gotten a basket. What was I thinking? Maybe I should trade these for smaller socks. I don't think they're gonna fit. I think you're just overthinking it. Yeah, but these look too big. Before I start, I did write up a bunch of little letters for each box. And then my sister also made a bunch of these paracord bracelets. Uh, they're all shaped together right now, but there's a bunch of different colors and sizes. So huge thanks to her, because these are super cool. Let's start with the boys' boxes. I'm gonna start with the 10 to 14 year old category. Here's what we got from both of them. Socks, some soap, a shirt. This one has a basketball, this one has a soccer ball. One of them has a kandama, and then the other one has like a mini Jenga, a calculator each, a couple combs. These things are why the boxes are so heavy. And then each of them also have a measuring tape. 10 to 14 year old girls, I did four of these. And I get them like pencils. By the way, all of the boxes have a toothbrush in them. For some of the girls, I got them these like really cute sketchbooks. In the middle, they have some like different colored paper. And then for some of the other older girls, I got them a really nice journal to write in. Super cute, 
just different colored pages and stuff. They all have a little hairbrush, a little container of different colored hair elastics, a bunch of pairs of socks. This girl gets like fuzzy socks. And soap, so hair clips, washcloths, adorable little shirts with like smiley faces on them. This one has leggings. This one has another shirt, some cute little shorts, pencil case, which I filled up with some fun things. I mean, it's got stickers in there, pens, pencils. There's more earrings in there. Bouncy balls, some like really, really adorable like erasers. I don't know if you can see that from there. They're so cute. So we're gonna look at the five to nine boys. This is probably the coolest item we bought. It's actual Lego. It's especially cool because you can build three different things. Then we have some little crayons, some socks, more socks. All the boys boxes have combs in them. And then I got them these like cool like model cars. Let me see. For, like all of the ones I got are different. Some of them are Hot Wheels and then some of them are like these ones. Pencil cases, which are just like packed full of everything you would possibly need for school. So it's like a little like gift within a gift, you know? We have some like cool stickers. Then we have like a whole bunch of pencils, a whole whack of pens as well. A few like fun colored pens and stuff. Pencil sharpener, washcloth, some soap, <laughs> a full set of markers. And I don't know about you, but it's always really nice to get like some new school supplies. Like I said, every pencil case is a bit different. Every box is a bit different. I wasn't able to get Lego for every single box. So let me just go through what's in the other one really quickly. And for the ones that didn't have Lego, I got them Sudoku. And I got them like a shirt. Super cute. Measuring tape. And then I think everything else is the same. Maybe it's time for me to put on that Santa hat. That's better. It's your boy Santa. Our next category is our five to nine year old girls. I opened all four of these just because they're all really different. So I have these cute little like jewelry music boxes. Mini crayons, soap, hair clips. Got these like giant packs of socks. <laughs> A bunch of different bouncy balls in every box. A cute little notebook. Big thing of hair elastics. I made these like chains of hair elastics. Toothbrush, washcloth, big inflatable beach ball. They get like a ton of stickers. Flowers, butterflies, and these like fake little earrings things that I, I liked when I was a kid. Zipper bracelets, cute erasers and earrings. And they also have pens and pencils and soap, more soap I guess, and a rubber ball and markers and pencil sharpener, all that stuff. It's pretty much the same stuff as the boys. Some of the girls got, you know, like little shirts too. Oh, she got a slinky. Totally forgot about that. Some of them got slinkies, I guess. Super cute skirt. I had to fold it inside the slinky because the slinky was taking up too much space. Some of the girls got these. 96 crayon packs. They're huge. I always wanted one of these as a kid and never got one. Some kid is gonna become like a famous crayon artist or something. I have the next Bob Ross. Next we have two to four boys. Every box has one of these like cool, this one's like a legit like mini soccer ball. I mean, this one has like a different like, this one's like squishier, I guess. They all have combs, little crayon packs, washcloths. Yeah, they all have like cool little Hot Wheels cars. So they all have a thing of jumbo chalk. And they all have stickers, toothbrushes, they all have erasers, they all have socks. This one has like a Duramax Pro, but it's like a little keychain one, so it's kind of cute. This one has like little like farm animals. Isn't that cute? They all have inflatable beach balls. These are cute. They're little tinted balls. They're so cute. Look at them. Ah. Last category is the two to four age girls category. They all have jumbo chalk, cute fuzzy socks in them, a little teddy bear. And this girl got like a lot of stickers. Adorable shirt, which would definitely absolutely fit me. They might need to grow into it. It's a size six. Especially if they're two years old, that's not gonna fit, but you know. And then there's some pens inside. I gave them the really colorful hair elastics because I know they like that stuff. No one wants black hair elastics at that age. Huge crayons for this girl because she has a small teddy bear, and you'll see what's in the other ones. Here is the big item. Every little girl needs a baby doll, right? And they're all different too. Like there's this one, see they're all different. We have these cute shirts. 
so cute. And then all of them come with different colored shorts. So yeah, that's all the boxes. Um, again, thank you guys so much for being a part of this project this year. Um, I'm super thankful and I know that these little kids who are gonna receive these boxes are gonna be like super excited as well. And, um, so yeah, thank you again. If you wanna learn more about Operation Christmas Child, I'll put the link to their website in the description and I encourage you guys to pack some of these boxes yourself, um, maybe next year, <sighs> or even go on a trip and deliver them. Like I <laughs> would recommend, it was one of the best experiences of my life. So yeah, thank you guys again for your support this year. Um, I'm hoping to do something like this again next year. So we'll see about that. Um, and I will keep you guys updated. By the way, Merry Christmas guys.